Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a tour around my network setup. So first off, we have my Nexstar TV DVD combo player, and this acts as a monitor for my Raspberry Pi. And it, uh, the reason I chose this instead of a regular monitor was because this was small and compact, and I can fit it on top of the uh, network stand, and the stand is just um, a sh shelving unit for DVDs. And below that, we have the remote to it. It's a small remote, so I taped it to the side. And next to that, we have my Raspberry Pi. And this is my home automation system. And above that is the IR Blaster. So let's go into detail about what my Raspberry Pi um, home automation setup is. So opening up the lid to the custom case I made. Um, the case I made out of stainless steel. And in the middle, there is the Raspberry Pi itself, connected to a 8-channel relay board through jumper wires, and that controls the two remotes on the side, one for lights and one for outlets. And it's all controlled from WebIO Pi, and I can control it from any web browser as long as I'm in my net home network. And, yeah. Closing the lid, uh, we're going to move down to the shelf below it, and that is my router, and this is a Netgear router, and it's pretty decent router, I really like it, it has dual band, it has 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz, and the model number for that is, it's uh, Netgear Range Max Dual Wireless N Router. And the model number is WNDR3300. And my favorite feature is it has awesome LED lights. So moving down a shelf, we have my server setup, or my cloud setup. And so my main hard drive is this WD250 gigabyte hard drive. And that's on a Seagate GoFlex desktop um port and next to that is a Seagate 500 gigabyte and I use this as my backup I use this as a backup for the 250 gig I like to back up just to be safe and above that is my pogo plug and I have an unboxing video for this and I really like this it's a, basically a cloud so you can access it from any web browser any mobile device they have an app and for Android and iOS. Below that is my power setup. So I have my hard drive plugged in, my other hard drive, my Raspberry Pi, the TV, and the Pogo plug. And so it's just in a regular power strip, nothing special, and that plugs into the wall. I have it sleeved up, and it plugs into a regular outlet. Next to that, we have the keyboard to the Raspberry Pi. And it's just a regular old keyboard. It's a gateway. It does the job. I rarely ever have to touch anything on my Raspberry Pi. And under that, I have this cable storage place. And so after I wire all the cables, all the extra cables are in there. As well as a spare 250 gigabyte hard drive that has some backed up. It's filled with other stuff. So, and all of my cables are routed through this gray cable manager. I'm going to try to get all the links in the description, but I don't know if Amazon has this gray thing because my dad got it for me. But it's nice, and you can route all your cables down it. And so I have them all going in there and to where they have to go. And you can cut it to whatever size you want. So if you can get your hands on it, I'd recommend but yeah, that's my network setup, yeah, and I really have a lot of pride in this. It's one of my favorite things in my room, because it could, basically is the center and w what everything runs off of. So thank you guys for watching. See ya.